Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to What Are You Painting Now? And we're just going to be wrapping up the feedback for April slash early May? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm running on empty, folks. All right. So let's get right to it. So uh, we're starting off with myself, uh, Captain Muppetsville here. So um, I actually had a bit of a conversation with Wild Chevy and uh, yeah, he, he gave me a few tips on this guy. Apparently like I, I ended up doing like the whole gold trim all around the uh, Dark Angel shoulder pad, but apparently people don't like that a, a great deal and uh, yeah, he just gave me some tips on doing photos. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix up a few things before I uh, like I, I put up my one to, to match brush strokes and um, yeah he, I mean he looks decent but uh, I I gotta fix him up just a tiny bit just a tiny bit all right and uh, thanks for the love folks um, I had a great time just a fantastic time uh, painting up with brush strokes so. Let's take a look at Tharagon, our master of metals, and wow, doing the interiors, man. Like, for me, I just, I just would be like, nah, no thank you, uh, cause that'd, that'd just drive me straight up the wall. But yeah, and now we have, you know, something completely different from him, some scourges, some wingless scourges. Um, but yeah, uh, and um, I tell you what, I really love the Scourge model. Um, yeah, I know that you're using them for something else, man. You do what you want to do, man. It's your hobby. Do it how you want to do it. Um, but yeah, so first up, let's have a few comments on these guys. So, I love the little mask there and how you've managed to... Uh, have a bit of a shift in tone with the white with that. Um, I think that that's a, a bit of dry brushing or over brushing. I'm not sure what the over brushing technique is. As far as I know, it's just dry brushing, but anyway. So the reds contrasting with the greens of the gun, just lovely, of course. And um, yeah, it's, it's just a very nice, solid effect you've got going there, man. I really love it. All right, opponent theory, bringing it home. I loved going through these tutorials, man. I uh, I went and I took a look at this tutorial, and oh man, like taking a look at it, it's so simple the way that you do it, right? But it's just like, it's like, then do this thing again, and then do this thing again, and then do this thing. Now we're on to a new step, which we're going to repeat like five times till you get it right, son. And it's just, yeah, man, that's, that's what you've got to do. You just got to keep on going with it. And it just, it just shows you how that hard work pays off. So first off, you know, I know that you're just doing the one from the comic books, but the color, the color contrast, a real primary colors hero right here in front of us, guys. Blue, red, yellow. That's how it's done, folks. Oh, man. But yeah, what can I say? Just the whole thing is is just a is just masterful, man. Um, I could comment on every single little bit of it, but yeah. I, I'm just going to say this, and I'm going to say it as honestly as I can. You know, just, I love it, man. All oh, right, I'm uploading a video, so I can't can't do things anymore. Alright, on to Silver Star, who's doing up some more Star Wars guys, and um, I love seeing this. I love seeing, you know, how a guy evolves. That's always great, man. That's, that's one of the things that I love. You know, um, you see the guys come from just the base coat all the way up to Master Strokes. But yeah, there's uh, there was him done. Oh, plus, wow! Thanks, guys. Um, I'm surprised, but you know, I'll, I will take that compliment for sure. Thanks, guys. Um, but yeah, I uh, 
really worked hard on him. All right, man. Wow. Just, yeah. I love seeing, I, I just love this whole thing. You know, um, what I think looks really good with this is I love your little computer thing here on the gauntlet. And I think that the helmet having that white is just, mm, 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 just lovely. But you know, a friend of mine, I, I was showing him this and he thought that this was the completed model and he was pointing out a few things, right? But then you managed to fix up your errors, quote unquote, with your um, battle damage. You're like, you take the look at the corner here, um, the corner of the shoulder pad where there's that little bit of um, wash which is uh, resided there. But you know, I didn't even notice that until he took a look at it. But man, it was... Oh man, him taking a look at things was a bit brutal. Ah, uh, Retton, that was that was fantastic, man. Seeing one of the actual classic models, you know, compared. Um, I'm I'm glad that you were missed, man, because you know the the thing is, if you weren't, that'd be a little sad, wouldn't it? Um. Yeah, Dark Angels for the win, man. And uh, thank you, I did put a lot of work in. And uh, yeah, I think so did Brushstroke, so did Brushstroke, so. Oh, well, wow. Okay, you know, like I did say totally finished here and it wasn't until my friend pointed out some errors, but wow, thanks guys, plus, that has to be my most liked paint job here, full stop. Um, thanks. That's uh, that's all I can say. I, I put uh, a lot of work into it and uh, now I want to fix some things up because of some of the things that people said. But um, well, just, just wow guys, thanks. Um, yeah, because I, I didn't even think that this photo showed off a lot of the things that I've managed to do, but yeah. Just, wow guys, thanks. Um, I'm just kind of blown away, man. Oh no, brush strokes! I'm currently beating you by a single point, but I'm guessing once this video comes out that, you know, you're, you're gonna cream me but man i love seeing this man the battle damage you did is so good i loved it i absolutely loved it i'm like i don't know i just can't do battle damage properly in my opinion so um yeah that's that's just me um but what i'm gonna um I'm going to try out doing some proper battle damage with um, one of my, uh, one of the, oh, I'm falling all over myself guys, I'm sorry, um, one of the Death Watch Overkill miniatures, I'm going to try and do like some serious battle damage on that guy and if it comes up, um, I'm, I'm going to try it out with some of the other guys, but yeah, so, first off, Let's go over a few things. So, the yellows with the edge highlighting is just beautiful, guys. Just beautiful. It's it's come out so well. Just absolutely phenomenal, man. Um, you know, there's there's not much more that could be said about that, right? Um, the battle damage has just come off so well like yeah like um so first off the thing is that I think that the edge here with the um, shoulder pad and how that's peeling off that just looks amazing same thing with the, the hand gauntlet area same deal but what I love is like everything else you know on him is just you know, got that bit of damage here and there, right? But his helmet is untouched. You know, given that idea that, you know, nobody's 
nobody's got like a direct hit on him sort of thing and like that's why he's still cruising around but also the helmet man so first off the color contrast of the red against the yellow is just amazing just phenomenal the matte fact that you managed to do that nice white stripe that's that's really good, man. Um, I, I would, I was very hesitant to try it in the first place, but I was going to give it a shot. Um, I was taking a look um, online to see the the Dark Angel different helmet styles, but they don't seem to have different helmet styles. Um, so the blue of the lenses is just mm, 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 phenomenal. Just absolutely fantastic, man. I love it. Same deal with those little lenses here and there. Like, on the gun itself, on his little helmet recorder, you know, the little uh, computer on the gauntlet, all of that. I was really proud of my computer gauntlet on my one. But the basing was also another thing, man. Like. I wanted to do a bit of a tribute to you with my one, having some flowers on it and just having a bit of, you know, freaking everything on it. And uh, I think I've made the, the base a bit too busy, I think. Um, you know, especially when it compares to your one, which looks just absolutely phenomenal. Just fantastic, man. I love like that little skull and you know how you're just doing it him coming up that stone and just oh man just lovely man. i love it all right so next up we've got sheldon nine and wow man we're seeing some real love here i love it i love it guys um and this is just some phenomenal work so first off the glow of the blue in the center of the models contrasting against all of that red just lovely just lovely man i love it all right so um i also like i'm not sure if it's freehand that you've done with the white but it certainly seems it and man you've got to be you got to have supreme confidence in your own skills there because wow just wow like that's really come off quite nicely in my opinion obviously but um yeah i really love that but the blue contrasting against everything and the bases are just very nice man um so yeah seeing these guys all done up like yeah I just love it, man. Uh, I think like the edge highlighting that you've done on these guys are just phenomenal. But I love like their little power packs or whatever they are with the white and then the black and then the thing like because I'm I'm almost certain that that is freehand that you've done the stripes and that's 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 talent, man. That's there's there's no other way of putting it. Just straight up, that's talent. Love it, man. Um, and I like the little gemstones that you've got on their legs and, you know, the glow that you've got coming from their fins or whatever those things are called. But, yeah. All right. Thanks, Sheldon, man. Um, thank you a great deal. Uh, I love seeing the feedback, of course. Um, yeah, don't worry. You're not the only person who uh, doesn't know what it is. Apparently, it's a disintegration gun. Um, yeah, and I don't worry. I, I'm not going to give you any troubles for not knowing 40k that well. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's not your kettle of fish. And, um, yeah, I, I was blown away with the feedback, man. But, yeah, thanks, man. Um, and here it is. Look at it. This is uh, Irish Steve, and uh, I think you did a bit of a yeah, you did a double post, Steve. Go on, you gotta fix that up. But I love the power coils in this and how they're just charging up and that soft transition. 
that transitioning is beautiful. Just absolutely amazing. I love it, man. Yeah, love seeing this work in progress. This guy is going to be so impressive when we finish it. All right. Um, thank you, Splen. Um, yeah, I I would love to see you paint one up yourself and uh, you know give us a um, give us a challenge because yeah, uh, it was it was very fun painting the guy. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it was slightly stressful because you know I think that's one of the few models that I've gotten which is like super expensive like 50 bucks like I know that you know I'm a GW guy guys but like honestly I I try and cut every corner I can when it comes to costs and I didn't know any corners I could cut to get this but yeah um, so like there's that and like that I'm going up against you know, what you guys have consistently voted as, like, the best painter here, you know, uh, well, I won't say that, no, you guys have definitively said that, you know, Jay Aiden's the best painter here, but, like, when it comes to certain pieces, you know, brushstroke is just love, just love, um, but yeah, so, here we have opponent theory, and did you give tutorials for these ones? Yeah, he did. Nice. Alright, so... Um, I saw this and... Honestly, there was a, a photo by another guy, Red Ben, and he did really nicely. But when I, like, when I saw his things, I'm like, Oh yeah, they look alright. But you know, I, I just thought... That's a bit of a... Uh, unkind move there, because... Comparing to you is just impossible, man, because, wow, look at that. Just, and we know all of the little steps that go into it. Like, uh, I don't really know what I can say in regards to him, because you've just done him up so well, man. Just so well. Um, but yeah. I just love it. Alright, uh, and same thing with uh, Black Widow here. You know, trying to highlight up from black is a nigh impossible task. And not only have you done it, but you've done it in such a subtle manner that it seems natural and most people who do this sort of stuff just it's just the end for them man you know you look at uh, trying to highlight up blacks and it is almost impossible sometimes well like I know that's the way I have felt with it some of the times but yeah I think that looks just lovely I love it um, yeah, I think if there, if there's any, like, criticism, criticism I could give you, I just reckon that your bases are a bit plain, but yeah, like, like, that's, that's trying to find fault in perfection, man, but yeah, they're just amazing. Um, alright, Davit, putting some work in, yeah! So is this like a robot man down here? Yeah, I think it is. It's like a robot man. Alright, so first off, I love the colour contrast with these flaring cloaks with the, you know, hexagons, uh, the interlocking hexagons uh, inside with that orange with the black on the outside. Oh, just mwah, beautiful. Um, but you've also got to love the red contrasting against the blue and this is with all of those guys on the top um, end. But with these guys down here, you know, honestly, like, I, I just look at them and I'm just thinking to myself, MORTAL COMBAT! Because you know? um, 
that that is very much how they seem you know like that like i know that they're going for the ninja uniform but they seem to have that sort of uh mortal combat theme to them uh nice muted colors and i think like the basing you know you're obviously going to do a bit more with that and i'm going to comment on them hopefully they'll be done up when they scroll down not quite okay so you've done up these guys for sure all right so quick question and finish off tomorrow cool cool that'll be cool to see so yeah i think i've given the commentary that i can on these guys except i have got to give a bit of a commentary on Captain Greyskin over here. So, like, it's a very interesting choice. I'm guessing, like, that's, that's how he is. But one of the things I've got to say is the pants, man. Oh, that is just lovely how you've done that. And the gold suitcase, I really, really like that. But, you know, the Greyskin, I'm... I, I'm, I'm not 100% on because like the whole thing is it's just exactly the same as the rest of his thing like I'm gonna see yeah 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 um like it's it's very like it's obvious that you've highlighted with the hand and that sort of stuff but I don't know like oh it's it's a very interesting choice man I don't yeah I don't know if I like it or if I don't, it, it's, it's, but I'll tell you one thing, it certainly draws the eyes on him. That's, that's one thing for sure. But yeah, love the case, love the pants. All right, Joe Rugby, bringing it home. Oh man, thank you for giving all the, uh, the feedback. Um, yeah, no, uh, so, Luckwise, as far as those things being bold, the way I'm sort of justifying it is, if you know anything about uh, biology, um, the ladies uh, produce testosterone, yes, but they have less testosterone receptors than men. So that's just basically my uh, work around to this. So basically, like. They're being pumped with the same sort of chemicals that everybody else is, right? But they just absorb less of it, you know? Um, but yeah, thank you for uh, liking the um, liking the Dark Angel. Apparently, you're not the only guy. And um, yeah, I was just blown away with that feedback. I can't believe it. Thanks, guys. Just, wow. Um... And yeah, I I was blown away by um, Brushstroke's um, work as well. So I really love working for that challenge. I'm gonna have to, you know, challenge myself with some of the other people who are getting some of these things. But so doing some work on the AVP, which is nice. Aliens vs Predator. So we've got some mutant hounds um, going on in the background. What are they? Da, 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 da. See, I really love the Prodos company and I would really like to get some stuff from them. And I think I'm going to be, you know, trying to get something for them very soon. But yeah. Okay, yeah, here we go. I think it looks really good, man. Like, I've seen a lot of people doing this brown color scheme when it comes to the runners, and I think that's because they came out of a dog, if that's right, if, if I remember correctly. But I don't know why the human ones are all black and the dog one is brown. But yeah, I really love how you've done the helm, sorry, helmet, the head and how it's got that nice glossy feel, especially compared to the rest of it. And uh, yeah, it's almost got like this sort of um, statuesque feel to the rest of it, which helps contrast so well with the head. And yeah, I love it, man. It looks really good. Also, I think like uh, wherever you've got those bases, you know, the grading ones that you've done up, they're really nice as well. I think that it's come up really well. These dead zone enforcers, wow, just wow, man. I love it because, you know, the white against the black, I've always commented on how I was a very foolish person for doing it, but, you know, 
you seem to have brought it home, man. Just, just absolutely, it's just come out so well. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta really respect yourself for that effort there. All right. Um. So yeah, I think. Let's see if there's any more on it. So yeah. All right. So what I like is the yellow stripes. They're really good. And like, there's not a whole lot of contrast going on. But um. Yeah, the yellow contrasting against the blue of the swords. Like, it's very subtle, but it's there. And also, I love the blood effect, man. The blood effect is just... Mwah, mwah. Love it. Nice and subtle. Not over the top, you know? And that's, that's how it's done, folks. You know? Just so lovely. All right, next up we have Irish Steve with some even more work. Oh, wow, look at that free hand. Oh my good lord. Oh my god. Um, for those of you who uh, have seen the, the trolls thing, um, <laughs> you might know what I'm on about there. Um, but yeah, just, just lovely, man. Oh, that's, that's really good. Um, I don't know what to say about it other than that's really really good because you know I love the the shift in color that you've done like I don't know whether you like just Painted on a wash there not put on a wash but painted on a wash to have that change in color But you know you can see that subtle change in color and just Just wow man just, It is Just legit Oh my god, guys. I can understand why some... Uh, I had a comment from one of our people in the thread and they said that they were, you know, a bit frightened to put stuff up because, you know, um, some people are just putting up some amazing work. And that that is why I really love Andy because he's always busting out stuff and, you know, some people, like, it, it's not... It's not like this rogue here, right? It's solid work. It's it's just really nice. He's got his own style and that's what I love. I love that, you know, I see that all the time. And yeah. So where the bloody hell is Andy? But yeah. If any of you guys know him like I'm I'm serious, yeah. If you could just give him Bell and Tell him to pop in and just say, you know, yeah, I'm still alive and stuff. Yeah. All right. So, opponent theory. This rogue is absolutely beautiful. Like, that work with the skin. Oh, my good lord. Just. That's, that's just talent right there. Like, um, you know, uh. Just lovely. Uh, not much I can say. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna move on because there's there's literally nothing I can say. This Black Panther, once again, the whole deal with the black, and you've just done it so subtly and so well. Um, yeah, there's there's not much I can say about it. Um, so yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna move down to the next one. Yeah, just. Uh, I'm really sorry, opponent theory, but you know, you just, just that good, I guess, man. Um, yeah. So, um, I got skills has put up something in here, and he's doing some of his conversion work here. And you know what? I think I'm gonna put a little sad message on the other thread and just say. Come on guys, if you're gonna do conversion work, put it in, what are you painting now? Because, uh, yeah, that other thread is just not kicking off. But, you know, plus five, that's, that's pretty strong. You know, like, that, people do not usually get that sort of thing. But yeah, he's just really putting the effort in with the uh, green stuff work. And, 
I honestly don't know how he does, like, I can, I know how he's done the sword here, but that shield, I don't know, like, I guess it's all just freehand, like, that's, that's it, that's, that's all I got, but yeah, like, it's come up really well, and what I like about it is that it's, it's very tough, you know, um, like, you look at all of the stuff that he's done, right, and it's bulking up a bit and that sort of stuff, right, but none of it looks out of place. It all looks very natural for, you know, the whole tail thing, and I'm guessing once there's a bit of paint on it, um, yeah, it'll look quite nice. And here's one of his classic guys kicking off. But yeah, um, you know, what I really like about this is the very strong highlights on this. And, you know, when he's on the tabletop, that's going to look really nice. Really nice. But I think what you might want to do, um, I got skills. If you, if you really want to show off, um, you know, the sculpting work that you're doing, it's just a whole lot of solid block colors, right? Just try and work on getting them 100%. Because I think that washes are not your friend when it comes to the tower. Here's Relton back in with it. Um, yeah, you know, you're not wrong, are you, with your feedback here. Just opponent theories is just amazing. I guess you could say those heroes are... Marvelous! <laughs> um, but yeah, and Irish Steve stuff is fantastic. But yeah, I love this. I love these models. Where are you getting them from? So, Andrea Miniatures, 54mm. Yeah, they, they do look to be a bit bigger. And, you know, you're really going all out on the money. Like, so, first off, color theory wise, just all. Oh, so the green contrasting with the red, the blue contrasting against both the green and the red on the tabard there. You know, the yellow, which is both her little chain there and her blonde hair contrasting against all of that, as well as the flowers on the ground. Oh, just amazing, man. You, it shows that you know your stuff. Um, and like, yeah, that's just your work in progress. Oh, it's going to be amazing when it's finished. And I'm really liking these guys. I'm going to just scroll up, see what their name uh, Andrea. US Andrea? Pretty sure that's the same deal. But yeah, these guys are looking really good. I like these guys. I like those nice, strong edge highlights. They're looking really good. Laughing boy? Man, I... I don't know what it is, but people seem to love this startup. Like, they really love it, man, and I can see why, and you're really showing off your talent here. Um, so, I do believe I mentioned it before. Yeah, who did I say? Yeah, Zap, Zap. Sorry, I'm running on gas, guys. I'm just, the names aren't coming to me as quick. Uh, bit tired, very sick. Um, so, I love how you've done up, you know, the, the demon's flesh there. Mr. Chompy Fitz, I think is his name or something ridiculous like that. And the teddy bear, I really love how you've made, you know, his innards blue. That's just a master stroke right there. That is just, but also his stitching's come out so well. And the fact that you've managed to do that white so well with that guy. But yeah, it is just lovely work, man. Just lovely work. And uh, I can very much see why people really like this startup because it allows you to go to town a bit. All right, so we've got the Dr. Ether uh, putting in some more things. Oh, I, I very much enjoyed your Andy Chambers podcast. I haven't gotten through all of it yet, but... There's a lot of things that I've got to get through, man. Um, yeah, just snowed under a bit at the moment. All right, so yeah, thanks, Zach. Thanks for coming in there. I, I think I must have missed that one 
there. Uh, man, I, yeah, I just love having this community, man. All right. So, Soldato has uh, brought in some of the Star Wars stuff. And isn't it phenomenal, folks? It is just so good. I'm just trying to find... This is the one. Here we go. This is my favorite remix of them. All right, so... Oh, it's not? I lied. I've got it wrong. This is the one. So... It is looking quite lovely, man. You know, very much fitting the theme of those guys. Um, Laughing Boy putting some more work in. And, you know, just lovely, man. I just love how you've done these guys up. I'm guessing that there must be like a um, tutorial somewhere for these guys because you guys all have managed to seem to get that same effect and I'd be so frightened doing some of these guys up. But I've honestly wanted to get some of these guys for so long because looking at your work, I love how that you've managed to highlight up to that white because it just looks absolutely fantastic. Just mm, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so next up we've got Jay Aiden uh, putting in some work in progress and it looks like he's doing up an Archeon for someone. That will be quite nice. All right, and oh no, Rel Lemon. Either I've been counting wrong throughout this thing, or maybe you've made a comment that upset somebody somewhere because it was plus two, plus two, plus two, and it was plus one. Plus one came from the feedback. You had two plus two from the thing. That should mean that you're at plus two. Sorry, man. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm really sad about that. All right, so let's take a look at this place. So. First off, isn't he looking great? So I love the sort of junky tone of the orcs. How you've got like little bits of everything and you've got these splashes of color everywhere. Just making it seem so, you know, I don't know how to, how to say it exactly without saying, sounding slightly offensive, but like very, they're, they're very sort of spurgy, aren't they? Like they'll just grab anything and everything and they're just like, I'm gonna whack this onto that, and this onto that, and blah, blah, blah. here we are. You know, power claw, sword hammer. It's like that, that's not a thing, guy. It, you can't have a hammer sword. I'll have his hammer sword, and I'll hammer sword your face. Just like that's, that's not how things work, Mr. Orc Man. But yeah, I think you really see how well you've done with the pants right here. Like, that looks just ace right there. Just ace. Love it. Um, take a look at what else we have. So, um, I like their little teeth in there. I love the industrial stripes. Doing those industrial stripes is actually quite, quite difficult. Yeah, it is. It is just really coming along and I'm really going to love, just absolutely love you know, getting into some in-depth feedback on this guy um, when uh, he's put up totally finished. Uh, the reason I'm not go going off on that is because it's uh, it's late here, I'm sick, running on fumes, and I don't think I can give you the proper feedback. Like, poor brushstrokes gonna get here. I'm just like. Brush strokes being brush strokes, you know, with the whole very Greek look and those two blue lines, the blue parallel lines, they are just beautiful. There's, there's no, um, no other way of putting it. They're just beautiful. Man. And uh, yeah, doing great with the skin work as well, you know, and love the metallics, but the, those lines in the coat, and on the surcoat, just phenomenal, man. But I mean, like, it's, it's kind of like, uh, I remember some guy going, you know, you can't compliment Bioware for their story anymore because you know that Bioware's gonna do good story. 
Alright, Irish Steve showing off some more work in progress and oh man, the weathering and the chipping and stuff that you've been doing on these is so good. Oh, I love this man, that's awesome. I love that you're actually, oh wow. How small are these things? Do we have like a bit of a bar? Oh my good lord. That's crazy man. That you, like I know that it's obviously just scribble. You know that you know you haven't written things, but you know how you've managed to do like the wise and like you've done the up things and that sort of thing, making it look like actual script. Ah, oh, I am, I'm totally jealous, man. I'm. If you could put up a tutorial of how to do this stuff, I wanna, I wanna learn. Teach me, master. Cause not like no, but honestly, I'm I'm being legit honest here, man. That work is just amazing, and um, yeah, if, if that's just off the top of your head freehand, man, I'm, uh, I'm just packing it in. That's so good. That's so good. You've got to be so proud of yourself, man. That is just phenomenal work. I, I love it. All right, scrolling down, and I think we're reaching the end. Yep, Dr. Ether putting in some works in progress. You know, seems like everyone loves Danny from, um, you know, Game of Thrones. Well, maybe that's just me seeing it everywhere, but that lady in the background there, our first one on the left, and now our central picture, she does seem very Daenerys Stormborn to me. But yeah, I love seeing these works in progress. But Dr. Ether, you are just the master of skin work, man. Just the master. Like, um, I think the only person who I've seen compared to it would be um, Jay Aiden. And like, I, I think, man, you just do, I, I think it, I might just say, it, just the best, you know, skin work. And see, look guys, he, he does the different tones and like, you just do it to try and become a better painter. You know, um, so we've got Silver Stars, and here he is, all finished up. I'll see if we've got some different shots. Yeah, all right, cool, cool. All right, guys. So I think this is going to be our last one. All right, no, I will give a commentary on that. All right. So first off, love the very muted tones, right? That's white knight. The muted tones make this guy look very, very nice. So I like the subtle shift. You know, it's almost like a soft transition, you know, rather than highlighting when it comes to this coat and such. You know, I'll see if we get a back look on the coat. Yeah, so look at like that deep pocket brought by the wind. And it's almost as if it's not highlighting, but soft transitioning and yeah just lovely that, man. um first off you know love the the red first off like six six points in already or something <laughs> um so the t-shirt being red contrasting against all of the rest of it brilliant mode but yeah i love this little spots of red on his I don't know what it is communicator something or other but you know like that just helps draw the eye a bit and you know in most of the shots you don't see it but when you do see it you want to take a bit of a closer look and that's just excellent I think that you've done really really good work with the skin here like um I see yeah so like this shot from behind, I think really shows it how you've done that nice, smooth, very smooth transition from the um, uh, like darkened area where, you know, uh, the back of his skull creating a slight shadow into the uh, front of his head. That's very nice way. Also, I think, you know, you've done good work with the beard, you know, doing white, is always difficult you know doing white hair fur just always difficult man you, you've done a phenomenal job there but all right so um 
we've got I got skills here and this is the completed work um, so here we go so gonna finish up on this one it is just quite lovely there's no other way to go about it but what I like about it is how he's managed to bulk up the whole guy right giving him this big big sword right giving him you know this extra fin at the back you know extra armor on this side bit here right but it all looks very naturalistic right once that's all painted up nobody would be looking at this and going oh that isn't tau but yeah like obviously a bit more a bit bigger than this thing itself a bit more exaggerated but is that not every single 40k mini ever um yeah and i also absolutely love this little um i don't know what you call it because it's certainly not a purity seal but the uh the bit of um cloth that comes out of the back of his sword that you've just done so well with that that is just just amazing work man really love that um but yeah i think the big thing for me is is like he's managed to add all these bits and like just painters would go nuts on this stuff man just go nuts because it's it's given you a lot of work to cheat with this sort of stuff you know because it's properly sculpted but yeah well done man so that ends our feedback for may uh i'm gonna go up and see if we've got a nice picture to um take a look at for our end while i'm um prattling on and on um yeah you know i think i'm just gonna take a look at um the the picture from here and i will i will leave that to take us out so that is what i got skills is uh sculpting off so um thank you guys for joining me for the one year celebration i was just floored with the feedback from that um that was phenomenal guys uh i'd really like to get to the point where um i'm able to do a prize draw every month um that's that's kind of my goal here right um and see i don't want it to always to be for you know the very best painter because you know we've got some painters on here and like opponent theory pierre's dr ether all amazing painters and they're just like i got what i need man you know and that's that's the thing and i'd really love to encourage some of our other painters here because there is some phenomenal painters who are on the up and up and what i think is really good is we see it coming around here and now you know uh the uh progress that people have made you know they go here was me five years ago here's me now and you just see it and that's the thing guys you gain success by margin nobody just puts in a little work and then all of a sudden they are the greatest master painter of all time you know i take a look back and i cringe at some of my work like it's uh not fantastic shall we say um but yeah you guys just have to put the work in and you will get the results guys trust me on that um I remember this one motivational speaker and what he said was success is a thousand steps done right and that's what it is guys you know you look at this painting right and you look at the skill on display and you might think I'd never be able to paint like that you know and while, when I'm talking about painting like this or it's most probably done in Photoshop but my point is right a lot of people would look at this and they'd go oh I'd never be able to do something like that the guy who did this most probably spent 
couple of days doing this, you know, and he'll like zoom in and do painstaking little, you know, scratches here and there on the armor, you know, doing highlight streaks, all sorts of things, like, and that's how it is with the painting, like, I don't know how many hours I spent on um, that limited edition model, but thank you guys, thank you so very much for that feedback, um, I have to say that I'm, I'm just floored with it guys, um, there's, there's not much more that I can say than that, you know, um, it's, it's nice to know when people think, you know, you, you've done a good job, and, like, I do not consider myself one of the master painters here, but I, I pulled out all of the stuff with that, and when I went over it with my friend, who's, um, they might not be the, the best critic in the, in the way that I am, you know, always trying to be positive, but, um, you know, and my mistakes became glaringly obvious, and I'm just sort of sitting there, you know, rubbing my temples going, oh, I can't believe I put that up and finished, but just thank you guys for assuaging all my fears, and I'm going to put up another picture of him after I've done the touch-ups and after I've done the things that uh, Wild Chevy suggested. And yeah, just thank you guys, because... Um, you guys have really made this forum what it is, and that's the thing to remember. And that's why um, I, I go on like I do, and I do things like I do. I'm, I'm sorry if I sound a little tired, because I, I am, and I'm very sick, but I just sort of wanted to get this feel out of the way. And that's why I worry when one of our members just disappears into the aether for two weeks, you know, like, lots of you guys disappear and come back and disappear and come back, but, you know, Andy's usually here all the time. I'm just, like, I, I had a quick conversation with Crossroads about it, and he's like, oh yeah, I most probably on holidays, and I have to say, you know, he's got a more positive outlook than I do, and, you know, apparently <laughs> somewhat difficult for some people to believe, but yeah, um, so, Thank you. Where the bloody hell is Andy? And I hope you guys have a great rest of the month. I'm really looking forward to seeing how some of these creations that I've seen starting out on here turn out. It's, it's going to be very exciting. So, you guys have a great month. Have a great day. And you know what comes next. Keep those brushes wet, and I'll see you later. Alright, see ya!